Hello YouTubers, this is Shem. In this video I'll show you how to get fully working 120 frames per second timeshift video recording and 4K recording on your Sony Xperia Z1 or Z1 Compact. This will only work on these two models. This was made possible by Rial from XDA Developers Forum and I'll attach a link to his profile in the video description so make sure you thank him for his hard work and donate if you can. Before we get started, your device will need to be rooted and have an installed recovery. You can root your Sony Xperia Z1 or Xperia Z1 Compact by following the instructions presented in my video guides that you can find in the video description. The second requirement is that your ROM must be deodexed. If you don't understand what ODEX versus deodex means, just google it for the answer. On Xperia Z1, deodexing the ROM is done by simply flashing a prepared zip file in recovery. To DODX Z1 Compact you will need to use a come home tool. There is a link to the XDA developers thread with link and instructions in the video description. So now that you have your phone rooted and DODEXed, we can begin. First thing we need to do is apply a super user mod. The simplest way to do this is to install the exposed framework from the link in the video description and then also install the Serarge Xperia exposed app. To install the apps, simply move them to your phone memory and then open them with a file explorer such as File Commander. You will need to have installation from unknown sources enabled in security settings. Once the apps are installed, go to Exposed Framework and install it on your phone. Reboot the phone afterwards. Now go to the list of modules and activate Serarge Xperia Exposed. Once you enable it, you will need to soft reboot the phone again. Once the phone is restarted, open the Serarge Xperia Exposed and go to System and enable customizations which will switch on the Super User mode. Now you can reboot the recovery by powering off your device and then pressing volume down when the phone vibrates during booting up. In recovery, install the mod. You can find the download link in the video description but if it stops working just go to the original XDA thread. Once you install the mod, just clear the Dalvik and cache and reboot the phone. Now when you enter the camera, you should see the timeshift video and 4K recording on the list of options. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and reviews. Thanks for watching.